thank you for the invitation to come speak today. And thank you for placing me after people talking about what we do uh, to manage all the waste that we create and then what happens when it gets into our environment. I'm going to talk about things that we can do every day to stop all that from happening. In November 2014, I had this little guy. And unbeknownst to me, as with many things, having a kid, this also entered my life about the same time, a lot of takeout food. Right about the same time, we at Surfrider Foundation in San Diego were figuring out what to do within our Rise Above Plastics Committee. We'd been working on a statewide plastic bag ban for a long time, and that became a reality of sorts. But we were figuring out what to do next. And we were thinking about what we do best. And what we do best is engage with communities. And restaurants are a community that we never really engaged with, with a formal way. We also took a look around uh, who's creating a lot of the waste that ends up on our beaches and oceans, and it's restaurants. So the restaurants themselves have a lot of power to reduce the amount of waste that we see in our environment. But if you're a restaurant owner in here, you might ask, why are we going after you? Why restaurants? Well, we saw opportunity. We did a survey of our own, and 88% of the respondents said they would view a restaurant more positively if they used environmentally friendly takeout containers, regardless of what that actually is. And then 60% actually said they would base their dining decisions on what kind of products a restaurant use. So for us, that told us there is opportunity. So after we learned that, we did a little bit more research uh, into some of the restaurants in San Diego County. What we learned is that only about a fifth use disposable in-house serviceware, which is good. So everybody's using reusables, except for that 20%. 61%, however, do use styrofoam or non-recyclable to-go containers. 78% would switch their practices if the restaurant was promoted by Surfrider. And 63% said they thought a styrofoam ban would be no hardship at all. And of course, we would like to go after a styrofoam ban, but legislation is not what we do best. Again, community engagement is what we do best. So we came up with this. This is a picture of our logo for the Ocean Friendly Restaurants campaign. So our mission statement is that the Ocean Friendly Restaurants campaign works with San Diego County restaurant community to institute self-regulated policies that will reduce plastic waste. So the operative words here are working with restaurants. So this is not a mandate. We're not telling restaurants what to do. We partner with restaurants to help them figure out how they can reduce the amount of plastic waste that they create. As an entirely volunteer-run organization, we don't have the manpower or the capacity to be auditing restaurants on a regular basis to ensure compliance. So really what this is about to us is partnership. So what the campaign is is a criteria-based system. You meet these criteria, and you are considered an ocean-friendly restaurant in our eyes. First, the restaurant uh, has to meet three required criteria. First is no styrofoam use at all. Second is no only reusable tableware is provided for on-site dining, so no disposables in-house. And then proper recycling practices are followed throughout the restaurant. And all this last one means is that the county already has restaurant recycling regulations. But what we found is that a lot of the restaurants are not even following it. If you've ever been to a bar and you watch where those beer bottles go, they go right into the garbage bin with everything else. So all we're asking there is that they follow the already mandated recycling practices, which actually apply to both front of the house and back of the house. On top of these three required criteria, we ask the restaurant to meet at least three of these six optional criteria. So first is plastic straws are only provided upon request. Uh, the second is that takeout food and beverage containers are recycled, recyclable. I put a red line here because uh, this first year of the project was a, uh, a pilot year, and we've since revised our criteria. Uh, third is that takeout bags are not made of plastic. Fourth is that the takeout bags are provided only upon request, or pickup customers are asked to bring their own takeout bags. Fifth is dis disposable utensils are only provided upon request. And then finally, no plastic bottled beverages. So one of the things we've learned in the past year since we've launched this campaign is that it's a very complicated question to answer what is the most environmentally friendly product. The answer is that we don't actually know. But one of the things we've learned specific to San Diego is that compostable and biodegradable are not as environmentally friendly as you might think they are. Although they might look more environmentally friendly, and they are compared to styrofoam, they are still not recyclable. So what's in it for the restaurant? So who in here has heard of the Surfrider Foundation? Raise your hand. 
So that's awesome, just about everyone. And, and we live off this, and we actually know that we have a good brand, especially here in San Diego, and businesses know this. I can't tell you how many requests we get to associate business names with our names. You know, Joe's Lumber Shack wants to do a cross promotion with Surfrider Foundation. We don't often do it because the business has to meet our mission. But if we're out promoting our name and saying we're going to associate our name with you if you meet these criteria to be environmentally friendly, then we're more than happy to promote your restaurant. In fact, that's what we're pitching, is that we will promote your restaurant if you are environmentally friendly. They get that sticker in their window. Uh, we do a lot of promotional events. Uh, we have a website, social media. We have about 7,000 Facebook followers, a couple thousand Instagram followers. I don't really deal with that side of it. but. I'm told we're doing pretty good. Uh, we have 17,000 people on our email listserv that get at least one email a month, which we use to promote the restaurants, and dedicated volunteers. So a little bit about successes. We launched this campaign in April of 2015. Since then, we've signed up 67 restaurants in San Diego County. We're working with uh, Surfrider's national headquarters. So Surfrider is comprised of 85 chapters around the world with headquarters in San Clemente up in Orange County. They're using our program to figure out how to scale this nationally to all 85 chapters. Uh, we have a partner program in Tijuana. They're launching a similar ocean-friendly restaurant program in Tijuana in March. We have lots of new and dedicated volunteers. So being a volunteer organization, this is our lifeblood. We wouldn't exist without our volunteers. I myself am a volunteer. Last but not least, there's a lot more awareness amongst restaurants about styrofoam in our environment and the alternative to styrofoam. One of the major challenges we've found is the misinformation about the use of styrofoam in restaurants and its recyclability. I'm not an expert in this. I hear it can be recyclable in some circumstances if it's pristine and perfectly clean, but the reality is, is if, even if it is, a very tiny percentage of it gets to the recycling stream. So a lot of restaurants don't know that, and they don't know what the alternatives are. All they see is one, one cent per unit versus four cents per unit. So this opened up a way for us to have a conversation uh, with those retailers. This being San Diego, there is an numerous uh, number of taco shops ending in Berto's. They are all very cost conscious, and they all use a lot of styrofoam. We've had a tough time getting into the door with them uh, and, and helping them make changes. Um, as I referred to the uh, compostable and biodegradable products and knowing uh, what is the most ocean-friendly product, we do regular checkups, but we've had to rely on our network of volunteers, seeing that sticker in the window and knowing if somebody's not in compliance. And we have decertified a couple of restaurants because we've been reported that they were out of compliance. So this is, as you can see, a plastic and styrofoam-focused waste reduction program. But we're thinking of ways how we can incorporate other environmentally friendly practices in restaurants into this program. So things around water use, sustainable seafood, and electricity. We have a goal to sign up every restaurant in San Diego County. We're at 67. Our goal for the first year was 50. We surpassed that goal, so we say, why not sign up every single restaurant in the county? There's about 1,300 restaurants that are members of the California Restaurant Association chapter in San Diego, but there's a huge number of restaurants that are not members. This is on our website. As you can see, we're kind of drawing a straight line up and down the coast. Uh, not on purpose. It's just because we rely on volunteers to work with these restaurants, and a large majority of our volunteers live on the coast. Just to give a quick shout out to some of my favorite restaurants that we've signed up, Swell Cafe in Mission Beach, uh, The Glass Door, Cucina and Oteca, uh, the Patio and PB, Harbor Town Pub in Point Loma, Snooze AM Eatery up in Hillcrest and in Del Mar. And there's my contact information and our website if you want to check out the program.